today's lab is functional group detection. For each test, use no more than two to three drops of a liquid sample or a pinch of a solid sample and discard all solution in proper labeled waste containers. So today's functional group lab has been categorized into nine different categories. The first one is aldehyde and ketones. The second one is carboxylic acid. Third one is amine. Fourth is alcohol. Fifth is ester. Sixth is nitro. Seventh is solubility test for different functional groups. And eighth, elemental test include test for aromatic and primary, secondary, or tertiary halide. Ninth is test for unsaturation. It will test for alkene or alkyne. So we will be doing two 4-DNP tests for aldehyde and ketone. So I'm taking a couple drops of butyraldehyde as my aldehyde. Two drops. One, two. So that's my aldehyde sample. And this is 2-heptanone, my ketone. For a negative test, I'm taking an alcohol, butanol. I'll be using some ethanol as solvent. I'm going to add a few drops of the reagent to 4-DNP in each of the solution. So my aldehyde and ketone, they both produce yellow precipitate. Negative test with an alcohol is just a yellow coloration, no precipitate. So the test tube with the iodoform reagent is sitting in the I sitting in the water bath for some time. Now I, we are going to discharge the coloration. sodium hydroxide. Do the same with the negative test. Now we are going to add some DI water. And that's my negative test. Add a little bit more water. So this definitely looks like a cloudy precipitate yellow cloudy precipitate. This is clear. That's the negative test. We'll try Jones test for aldehyde. So hits my butyraldehyde as my aldehyde sample and heptanone which is a ketone as my negative test. So it, Jones test only responds to aldehyde. So this should be my negative test. Now I'm going to add a few drops of Jones reagent and give it a mix. I'll do the same with the negative test. So this definitely feels warm and as you can see it's turning gradually to a greenish color. The negative test is still red-yellow. So I'll place a white background to show you the color. So we are going to try Tolens test for aldehyde. First, we've got to make the Tolens reagent. I'm adding about a milliliters of Tolens reagent A. That is 10% 
silver nitrate. So this is again our negative test, this will be our positive test. Next I am adding Tolens reagent B which is 10 percent sodium hydroxide. So it forms gray colored silver oxide in both cases. So I will dissolve the silver oxide using dilute ammonia. Give it a mix. We need some more dilute ammonia. So as you see this is dissolved and I am going to add my reagent. So butyraldehyde is my aldehyde. So I just added to my sample. I am going to add a few drops more. So I added two drops, another two drops, a silver mirror on my positive test. Let's add sample to my negative test which is a ketone, two heptanone. So this did turn gray but there is no mirror. We'll be doing solubility tests for carboxylic acid. So benzoic acid is my sample. So I'll add a pinch of benzoic acid and 2 naphthol is my negative test. I'm going to add a pinch of beta naphthol. I will add a few drops of water in each about 0.5 milliliters and then about 0.5 milliliters of methanol to solubilize. Give it a mix. Now I'm going to check the pH of these two solution on a pH paper. So I'm going to mix the solution with the glass rod and touch the pH paper right here. It does turn pink. It does turn pink. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to try the same thing with the beta naphthol that I have as my negative test. So, as you can see, this did not turn it pink. So, compared to this and this. This is definitely pink, it says it's acidic, this is not. So we are going to do benzoic acid solubility test. And beta naphthol is my alcohol sample. And we'll be adding 5% sodium bicarbonate to each of these. You can clearly see there is gas evolution. We'll do the same with the beta naphthol. So we'll be doing nitrous acid test for amine. I'm going to use two different Samples, one is aniline, is uh, aromatic and also a primary amine. This is my second sample which is going to be secondary amine, that's N-methyl aniline. We'll approximately add 2 ml of water in each, DI water. So if you can see, this is how they look like. It's an oily layer floating in water. I'm going to add eight drops of concentrated sulfuric acid in each of this sample. So this is how it looks like right now. We'll give it a mix 
and then place it in ice bath and let it cool down. Second test tube and third test tube, the second one would be sodium nitride. So it'll be sodium nitride, about two mLs. So this is also going to cool in the ice bath. For the third test tube, I'm going to prepare a solution of beta naphthol. So a pinch of beta naphthol. And about a milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide to prepare a solution. So give it a mix and we'll place it in the ice bath as well. So everything needs to cool down. And for a negative test, I'm going to use toluene. And then about two mLs of water. And then eight drops of sulfuric acid. And I'll place it in the ice bath as well. So right now it has been cooling. That's my aniline solution. To this, I'm going to add my sodium nitride. And we'll see how it looks like. So I'm adding my second solution, which is sodium nitride. Gas formation indicates it's a primary amine. So this is my secondary amine, and methyl aniline. I'm going to add the sodium nitride solution in here as well. There is an oily layer formation on the top, which indicates secondary amine. And as you can see, there is clearly not much change and definitely no gas formation. Primary amine produces a red-orange dye with beta naphthol solution, which is my solution 3. And when I add it to the aniline disonium salt, it will produce a red-orange dye. Give it a mix. A secondary aromatic amine for our negative test. It produces a coloration but not a red-orange dye. So the primary amine is red-orange. This is more like a dark red. So we'll be doing acetyl chloride test for alcohols. So methanol is my reagent. And then toluene is for my negative test. So I have a moist litmus paper ready and I'm going to hold it on top while I add my acetyl chloride. Let's look at the negative test. So this one has no reaction. So we'll be doing Lucas test for alcohol. So that's my tertiary alcohol which is tertiary butyl alcohol so that is my secondary alcohol which is 2 methyl 1 butanol and methanol is my primary alcohol
We are going to add our Lucas reagent. Give it a mix. I would let it stand. And the tertiary is supposed to react immediately. It does have an oily layer. Okay, this is the secondary. It's been about a few minutes. When you give it a mix, it forms an oily layer on the glass wall. The primary has no reaction. We are doing Jones test for three different alcohols. That's my tertiary alcohol, tertiary butyl alcohol. That is my secondary alcohol. And this is my primary alcohol, 3-methyl-1-butanol. So I'm going to add Jones reagent, two drops to each of these. So I'm going to give it a mix. This is primary, this is secondary. These both turn greenish, like a dark green precipitate and uh, this primary has a dark green precipitate in the bottom and this has a green coloration. While the tertiary should not react and it looks like the orange yellow color. So clearly, this is a negative test and these are your positive tests. Primary and secondary give you positive tests.